Yeah, well, it's been a really good month. Um, one of the things we were able to accomplish was putting together a detailed fundraising proposal that includes a lot of new program ideas that we have. We want to build an educational effort, and um, we're going to talk more about that in the future. We want to go up to our Flashline Mars Arctic Research Station, which we haven't been to in five years, and so putting together an expedition to do that. We also announced a new competition called the Telerobotic Mars Expedition Design Competition. The idea here is that if you had a human class lander, which would be able to land 10 tons of cargo, what could you put on that? Could you put um, several robotic vehicles, such as multiple rovers, multiple drones, maybe a large helicopter mission? What could you do with 10 tons? and how could you explore Mars that way? And so what we hope to do when these entries come back later this year is select the best ones and then go lobby for the US government and NASA to do that mission. And that will be a way for us to mobilize our chapters. We also released a high quality trailer for the Mars VR virtual reality project and we're very close to having that be available to the general public. I'm really excited about that one because what we've done is build a digital twin of our Mars Desert Research Station in Utah that we can use for a lot of different public outreach aspects, such as putting it into schools and museums. We're also going to offer it online as a free download. And so we can really get the word out on the type of work we do with our, at our analog station. Uh, one of the other things we were able to accomplish this month is to uh, submit updates to GuideStar and Charity Navigator. And these are sites that are really important for potential donors. They, they use them to research organizations they're going to donate to. So we want to make sure that we have proper transparency on these sites and that we've updated it with the latest information, our latest financial statements. And so we were able to do that and we achieved GuideStar Gold status for the first time as an organization. Now what that means is we're able to show that we have transparency as an organization to potential donors. It gives them confidence that we're actually going after our mission, what we're spending our, do our donations on, and whether we're achieving results. And so it's really important that we have uh, a good profile on sites like GuideStar and Charity Navigator so that donors can have confidence when they give us money. So some of the things that we'd like to do next month, um, we'd like to set up a volunteer system so that we can solicit new volunteers for many of the opportunities we have and really um, do better at tracking the work people do and make sure that they're matching up with what they're interested in doing. That's really important to me that we have volunteers that are engaged, that like what they're doing, that get excited about what they're doing. And so having a system that can match up our opportunities with the, what the volunteers are interested in doing and their skills is, what, is what's a priority. Uh, we're gonna get the Mars VR public beta out and we're gonna start gathering feedback for that and really promoting that among the, the community. Not only the virtual reality community, but also we're gonna put that out into some schools this year. And so we hope to do the first school assembly, um, high school assembly this, this next month uh, at the Aviation High School in Seattle. Um, also next month, I'll be going on a tour of the Mars Desert Research Station with Dr. Shannon Rupert, and we'll be doing a walkthrough and seeing what improvements can be made to the facilities uh, so we can really elevate that campus to the next level over the next year. And then one final thing in the next month we'd like to do is really dial in our marketing strategy. And it is our 25th anniversary coming up later this year in October. And so having a good plan for that, making sure that we really understand uh, what stories we want to tell, the voice we want to have in telling those stories, and who our potential audiences are and how they like to hear those stories. Those are some of the things we're working on right now that we hope to finalize in the next month. So feel free to reach out to me with your ideas and questions and suggestions. And you can also schedule time on my calendar and I'll see you on Mars.